Hello friends today I'm going to share with you little bit about history of U class telegraph station one of the oldest in Australia I will also be sharing about U class story which went ballistic or in today's lingo went viral in 1971 journalist and news crews were rushing into Eucla they came from Adelaide Sydney Perth and US the BBC even sent a full TV documentary crew the story was a monster even king charles or prince charles back then had reacted on the story Eucla is the largest stopping point between Norseman and Sijuna for travelers along the A highway. It is the easternmost locality in the outback region of Western Australia and the only Western Australian location that has a direct view of the Great Australian Bight. It is 87 meters above sea level and just 10 minutes away from the South Australian border and 1430 kilometers from Perth by road which takes almost 2 days to drive. At the 2021 Australian census, Eucla had a population of only 37 people, which is just four families. And also, just to let you know, Eucla and the surrounding area, notably Muntrabilla and Madura, uses the Central Western Time Zone, eight hours and 45 minutes ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. Eucla is the largest settlement built on the vast Nullarbor Plain, the biggest limestone cast landscape on earth, covering an area of 270,000 square kilometers. Eucla offers caravan and camping sites as well as motor inn where you will find a bar, restaurant, cafe and motel style accommodation, a golf club and a museum. This museum upholds and preserves the significance of the telegraph line in Australian history. There is also a travellers cross, a beacon and landmark for travellers. The cross situated at the top of Eucla Pass is illuminated at night and can be seen for miles in each direction. If you like to see the remains of history then Eucla Jetty and Telegraph Station will be of interest to you. The clarity and depth of the water around the site of the Eucla Jetty makes it ideal for snorkeling. There is also sufficient material visible on the seabed to make the site interesting for divers. The telegraph line is regarded as one of the most important innovations in the 19th century. Before the telegraph came, communication between Western Australia and the rest of the nations took months. But when Eucla telegraph line and manual repeater station were established in 1877, transmitting messages only took a few seconds. The telegraph was as important for them then as the internet is for us today. Together with the telegraph line a jetty and tram line were also constructed for offloading supplies brought by the ships. So be sure to check out the ghostly remains of this old telegraph station in Eucla. It is historic and ever changing landmark that may disappear after some years under the ever encroaching white sand dunes. The telegraph station's location close to the state border was intentional. The station was important as a conversion point because uh, South Australia and Victoria used American Morse code locally known as the Victorian alphabet while Western Australia used the international Morse code that is familiar today. This meant every message had to be translated and resent. Messages would arrive in one part of the telegraph station, be carried across to a wall which represented the boundary between the Western Australia and South Australia, pass through a pigeon hole and then sent by the other state's telegraphist who sat on the other side of the wall. There was a time when it was reputedly the busiest telegraph station in Australia. In the 1890s, the town was overrun by rabbits, which resulted in the vegetation being decimated. The result was the huge sand dunes which have partly covered the telegraph station. It was decided that the rats problem could be solved by bringing in cats to control the rabbit population. This resulted in a plague of feral cats.
After 1929, when a new telegraph line was built beside the railway line to the north, Eucla declined in importance. Did you notice the Nalabar name? The sign outside the motel? There is a story behind this name. Coffee, you will see newspaper clippings on the different boards in the cafe. I read one which had King or Prince Charles photo on it. So this news was big. In 1971, worldwide media publicity came to the town after reports emerged of a blonde girl who had gone wild and lived and ran with the kangaroos who came to be known as the Nalabar name. The first sighting of the Nalabar nymph was on 26 December 1971, in which professional kangaroo shooters reported seeing the half-naked woman among the several kangaroos in Eucla, described as a white blonde woman, and they captured a blurry image of her in amateur film. The picture they captured of her showed a woman wearing a kangaroo skins as she held onto a kangaroo by its tail. She became worldwide news. Journalists travelled to Eucla as the story gained more attention. Eucla was a town so small that it had only a population of eight people during the time that this story was capturing worldwide attention. Everyone wanted to know more about the mysterious woman. Many tales and stories were told about her, which eventually came to attain nearly legendary status. It led to the creation of statues in her honor, as well as a low-budget film that received extremely positive reviews. The whole story was admitted in 1972, the year following the initial sighting, to be a complete hoax. It was performed as a publicity stunt. The woman in the initial image of the first ever sighting of the mysterious woman was a partner of Laurie Scott, who was the one of the professional kangaroo shooters on the hoax from the beginning. Whether or not the story is true, it still garnered a lot of attention. People still tell stories about our adventures to this day in Nalabar, where it all began. You know, the fake news, as we call today, was used to attract visitors to this place. Thank you for watching.